can a soon to be 35 year old with a wife and two kids and a full-time job and a house to take care of and all those things and family and friends and other responsibilities, can I become a scratch golfer and how good can I get? Hey everybody. As you can probably tell from the last few weeks, there have been some changes on the channel, including the name. So I just wanted to take a little bit and kind of talk about why that is. So basically this channel used to be called Pursue the Brew and it was focused on beer reviews, beer information, and that kind of thing. And as I did that, uh, I realized that doing the legwork of that kind of channel, um, learning about beer history, chemistry, hops, uh, different styles and, and all that. I just didn't, it didn't get me as excited as it probably should have if you're gonna try and make a channel about beer. The thing I'm really passionate about as far as anything outside of my normal job, my family, my friends, is golf. Like that has been a big focus of my life for about two or three years now. I've gotten pretty good if I say so myself. And so I just decided I'm going to push myself to not only work on some things, but to document them and hopefully do that in an entertaining way that also allows you to learn kind of as I learn. So this channel is now Adam Pulley Golf. That is gonna be the focus. And the whole idea is, can a soon to be 35 year old with a wife and two kids and a full-time job and a house to take care of and all those things and family and friends and other responsibilities, can I become a scratch golfer and how good can I get? So um, right now I'm a 5.5 handicap. And so I've, I've, I've gotten down to there from a 12 in 2022. So the goal in 2023 is get those last five strokes off and call myself a zero, a scratch golfer. And so today I just wanna kinda of walk through what you're gonna be seeing on this channel and what I'm doing to reach that goal of becoming a scratch golfer at age 35. So there's kind of three areas that I'm focusing on in improving, especially in the next few months as it's gonna be cold and I'm gonna be kind of homebound. I'm not gonna be able to play out on the course that often. I'll still be able to practice and do some other things. So the three areas that I'm improving in to really focus myself and my body on becoming a scratch golfer are fitness, my swing, and my mental game. So let's dig in first on fitness. So my goal right now is in 2023 is to lose about 50 pounds. Um, I know that's a lot of weight in one year. It's probably not realistic, but there's a goal number in the back of my head and that's what I wanna hit. Right now I am uh, pretty far overweight. I'm a big dude uh, and I don't have very much muscle. My BMI is definitely in the obese category. So I'm trying to work my way into building muscle and losing weight. So the way I'm doing that is I'm using the Fit for Golf app. Right now I'm doing the uh, off season program and I can just tell you like, the way the app works, the way the programs are set up, it is awesome. If you are wanting to gain some muscle and get in better shape as a golfer or as anything, this is a great program. Um, and then for the diet part of it, to track my calories and macros and, and what I'm eating, I'm using the Noom system, which is also a great uh, diet program. It's not just focused on the numbers, it is focused on the psychology of why we eat and how we eat and helping you make better decisions that way. So between those two things over about the last month and a half, I have lost about 14 pounds. And more importantly, I have gained pretty significant muscle. The, uh, the next part is kind of on the technical golf things, which is the swing. Uh, there's a couple big goals here. One is to, the biggest thing is to develop consistency and have a swing that really uses the uses the raw ability I have, which is all I've really ever done. I've, uh, you know, mostly self-taught swing, a few lessons here and there throughout the years, but for the most part, this is my swing. I've made it work. Obviously, I've gotten down to a five handicap without steady, consistent lessons. And so right now I'm working with a coach regularly for the first time. Uh, had a swing analysis done with Ryan Moke, who's uh, on Twitter, on YouTube. Uh, sent him my swing and got an analysis and just the few quick little things he said in that were able to make a huge impact. And so now I've, I've done a lesson or two with him and you know, he's not trying to do the easy fixes. He's trying to help kind of build from the get go with my setup and my takeaway is where we're at right now and just already seeing some big improvements. So thanks to Ryan, uh, check him out as well. Link to Fit for Golf, 
Noom and uh, Ryan's accounts will all be uh, in the description. So uh, the other part of my swing I'm working on is uh, speed. I'm going to be doing the stack swing speed system. Like I said, my swing is not bad. My seven iron speed is above tour average and my, my driver speed is well above the average person, but I want to take that, uh, what I would call a strength and turn it into a superpower. So, uh, along with, as I'm gaining more muscle and, and building that part of my body, I want to also be translating that into the fastest speed speed possible. So, uh, those are the things we're going to be doing with the swing. Uh, and then part of that also is practicing more last this last year, the improvements I made were pretty much on the course, um, a lot of putting, but I haven't practiced a whole lot. Really just want to make sure I'm spending time at the range, but I also don't want to just be hitting balls. I want to be hitting with a purpose, looking at my swing, filming myself, evaluating, sending that to Ryan and making that time worthwhile. But I'm going to try and practice more often couple times a week at least, getting out on the range, the chipping green, the practice greens, uh, as well as just putting and hitting here at home. So a lot more practice in my future, uh, but I think that'll make a huge impact, especially as we're trying to implement some swing changes and some speed. It's going to take a lot of reps to make that work consistently. So those are the things we're going to be doing for the actual technical golf stuff. Third big thing to work on is my mental game. Uh, this is probably, uh, if there was somebody filming me and evaluating my playing style, even just me knowing it, I am not a good, I don't have a lot of mental toughness on the golf course. Uh, I think it's in there because I've shown it in other parts of my life, but on the golf course, one bad shot quickly turns into five bad shots, which turns into a bad few holes, which turns into a bad few rounds. So really going to try some visualization techniques as well as just different ideas and seeing what works for me out on the course to make sure that when I hit that bad shot, it doesn't snowball, it doesn't derail the whole round, that I'm able to reset on the next tee. Whatever it is, I wanna make sure that those one bad rounds aren't sticking with me for too long. So uh, gonna just be trying a few different things there. I'm gonna read, I've got books on the shelf that I'm gonna read. I'll be talking about those as I do these kind of update vlogs. But anyway, those are the three big things. More importantly for you all, what can you expect from the channel? The big thing is going to be just kind of this, this talking through my game. I'm gonna film myself more out on the course and we're gonna do some ser a series called Breaking It Down where go through each shot, evaluate myself, evaluate what I was thinking and doing um, and trying to learn from that and do that here in the studio, not out on the course right after I hit the shot. So hit the shot, film it, but then move on to the next one and we'll break it down here and see uh, what kind of records we can set over nine holes, 18 holes, different things in those videos. We're also gonna be doing a lot of traveling. One way I can challenge myself without, you know, hopefully I meet a lot of good people and play with some really good golfers, but another way to challenge myself is to play on courses that I've never played on that are harder than what I would get at my home course where I know every nook and cranny go play some other courses. And that is where I think this will be really fun to be filming and learning more about golf architecture, which I've been doing and that sort of stuff. There's a lot of great courses here in Missouri. And so traveling to those, and that's where, you know, we'll still hit some breweries, some coffee houses, some restaurants, and, and just take you along the journey. It's so kind of the travel golf side of it as well here in Missouri and the Midwest. So those are the things you can expect. That's where we're going. Uh, it's exciting. It's scary to document this. Um, but I'm hopeful that it will be fun uh, for me and for you all as well. So be sure to subscribe if that, if you're at all interested in that. Uh, appreciate all the support and yeah, be sure to like this video if you're as excited as I am. I appreciate everything. Appreciate the, the people that have watched and, and gone along on the brew, brew, pursue the brew part. Now it's time for the Adam Pulley golf part. So I'll see you soon. Thank you all and uh, until next time.